Okay, in this video we're going to uh, use the dynamic flow component to create a child record and then navigate to that child record once it's been created. So as per the other videos, let's start with a quick look at the flow itself. This one's called Quick Opportunity. And the Quick Opportunity flow takes the... Uh, record passed into it in this case it's going to be a flow that started from the account from an account and it uh, quickly prompts the user for the name of the opportunity defaulting that to the account name and then amount and then the record create element from flow is used to specify the uh, account ID associated with this opportunity of course that was passed in through the flow TB underscore record variable and the amount entered uh, the name entered and also it defaults the close date and stage name and finally captures the opportunity ID once create once the record is created in the, another variable so um, the interesting bit happens here in the assignment where it uses the flow TB event variable, assigns that to another lightning event called navigate to S object, and uh, per the docs, that uh, event takes a record ID parameter, which is what we're going to use for our use with our opportunity ID variable that we captured in the previous element. And uh, there's no point really keeping the utility bar open once we've navigated to the opportunity. Um, unless you were maybe connecting multiple flows together um, so we minimize minimize the utility bar we ask the uh, dynamic flow component to minimize the utility bar so that's uh, another fairly small flow let's uh, configure that one with the custom metadata so this one's called account flow 3 and uh, we'll give it a go you can see it in action let's save that Okay, so let's refresh this page. Let's see that uh, quick opportunity wizard in the utility bar. There it is. So it's it's brought uh, in the account name, and defaulted that. I could obviously over type that or edit that going to but change put the amount in there so when I click next it actually will run the flow second step which is to create the opportunity and then the final step was to tell the dynamic flow component to navigate to the opportunity record that was created and minimize this utility bar so I'm going to click next now and very quickly it navigates to the opportunity it's just been created and indeed it minimized um, the utility bar. If we pop open the utility bar, we can see it's actually running the flow that we started in the one of the earlier videos. Just a very basic example that shows the utility, the, the name of the record that you're looking at. You can go back to Burlington Textiles, and of course, it'll run the flow associated with account, which of course is our quick opportunity flow. I'll do that one more time. see an example of creating effectively creating a child record uh, from a flow and navigating to that uh, to that record